Iman needs to be strong. Your faith in Allah needs to be unwavering. It needs to be shatterproof. It needs to be solid. That's when you will be able to overcome. You made a profit for so many years. You will make a loss for so many years. Try your best, work hard, be a good person. Don't harm and hurt others. Have a good relation with Allah and keep going. Those struggles are a blessing. When you are far from Allah, you have forgotten Allah and you are harming other creatures of Allah, then your hardship might be a punishment from Allah. But if you're a good person, you are trying, you help here and there, you've improved yourself, you're trying to obey Allah's instruction. Those are the two main things you need to do on earth. My rights that I need to fulfill for Allah, which is my salah, my zakah, my song, my hajj, my fara'id and that which is compulsory, that is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're doing that and the second thing, hukukul ibad, I'm fulfilling the rights of the creatures of Allah. I'm kind. I remove jealousy, hatred, ill feeling from my heart. I try to help people. What more do you want? What, what are we on earth for? We are on earth to fulfill all these things. If you've done that, have hope in Allah. Have hope in Allah. In the meantime, improve yourself every day. Then when a day comes that you are struggling because of a loss in terms of the dunya, thank Allah. Don't worry. Thank Allah. When the Prophet ﷺ went through hardship, do you know what he said? He said, Oh Allah, if you are pleased with me, I don't mind what's going on here. If you are happy with me, never mind what happened. Subhanallah. Look at the yaqeen and conviction because he knows. Inna dunya fana. This dunya, this world is going to come to an end. Subhanallah. I sit and look at the trees sometimes and I tell myself, man is so weak. He will last 70, 80, 90 years, right? The tree is sitting there for 200 years, solid. Subhanallah. Imagine. And you look at a tree and you think to yourself, man is bigger and stronger and more. That tree is sitting in the cold, in the heat, in the rain, in the drought, whatever it may be. And it's solid sitting there every season that when the season comes, the flowers come out, the fruit comes out, you know, the, the leaves are there. It's mashallah in the wind. It's moving. Man gets depressed. Man gets so weak because the conviction we have needs improvement. We can change the world by changing ourselves. I know it sounds like mantra, but it's not. It's a verse of the Quran. Inna Allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim. Allah says Allah will not change a nation until each one changes himself or herself. So there you go. I need to talk to everyone about change starting with myself. And that change should be positive. Learn to help, learn to reach out to others, learn to empower, learn to say a good word, learn to make people's day. My brother, mashallah, you're looking good, alhamdulillah. And the brother starts smiling. What did you do? You made his day. And that's all. They'll go back at least with some sort of a smile. Imagine you're being bashed morning to evening and in the middle you come for Salat al-Jumu'ah and someone says, Salaamu Alaikum. So good to see you, my brother. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to see you today. Just that much. You go home and you think that my day was a mess, but one brother made me smile. Subhanallah. What is that? The brotherhood of Islam. Greet people. What is Jumu'ah all about? It means gathering. Why do you have to gather? To, to know one another, to know the difficulties, the problems, the issues. I must help you, you must help me and so on. Today, why are we failing? It's the other way around. I see you, I start thinking, mm, too much money. Huh? And I see someone, you don't know, it's a borrowed vehicle. It's this, your brother, you want to live, no one else is allowed to live. See someone say, mm, look at the way he's walking. He's arrogant, this guy, man. Why? What negative thoughts are they? You see someone, what is he doing in the masjid? Did he lose his path here? That's the type of statements people utter sometimes in their minds. Brother, purify your mind and your heart. Look at others, be happy. Be happy they are here. My brother, whoever you are, we love you. You are here in the house of Allah. That's what it is. You are more than welcome. And here we will not doom you and throw you out. We will welcome you and help you in whatever issues you may have. May Allah grant us the ability to do that. That is Islam. That's why we have Jumu'ah and Jama'ah. Imagine if you come for Salatul Jama'ah every day and one day you happen not to be there. People will start asking, where's the brother? What happened? They'll phone you. Are you okay? Is everything okay? Until you might have to turn off your phone because of an irritation. It's a good irritation, isn't it? I rather people call me to say, are you okay? You want me to do anything? Is everything fine? That is the deen of Allah. 
The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has said, and I end on this note. He says, believers are like one body. If, a, if a, an organ from the entire body is in pain, the whole body suffers insomnia and is in pain. Today, when an organ is in pain, you know what we do? Chop it off, out. That's it. May Allah Almighty grant us ease. May Allah forgive us. Really, this is a reminder to myself and to yourselves. There is no solution except for us to become steadfast ourselves, to learn to care for one another. Every life has its value, Muslim or non-Muslim. Every life has its value. For small matters, people are beginning to harm each other, to kill each other, to cause problems. And it starts off with a small spark. You swore someone, they swore you back. Then they swore your mother, you swore their whole family. Then they swore your tribe and you threatened them. Then they threaten you and then one person has to just fulfill the threat. Or a threat got to a third party who loves you so much, they took it in their hands to do it for you. Subhanallah, what happened? This is the end of the world, man. Subhanallah. Where are we? May Allah Almighty grant us all steadfastness. We are living in trying times, tough times. Everyone takes things to heart, takes things personally. No, don't worry. You will be attacked. If you haven't, welcome. It's coming. Subhanallah. You will be said wrong things about. No, if it hasn't come, it's coming. That's why Allah has spoken about it. If there was not going to be this problem in the Ummah, you would not find these verses in the Quran. But they are there because Allah wants to prepare you and I to say, you know what? Relax. You need to worry about yourself. You need to be concerned about those around you and those who are dependent on you. And you need to fulfill the rights of all those that you have to fulfill the rights of. But remember, if someone else you have no control over has started saying or doing, do you know what? Protect yourself, defend yourself. Yes, but don't take it too seriously. Life is too short. Before you know it, we're gone back to Allah. How many people have passed on? People spoke about them. They are gone already. And where are they? With Allah. It's too late to say, I'm sorry. It's too late to apologize. My brothers, my sisters, we ask Allah Almighty to grant us steadfastness and goodness.